Hi everyone, we continue to speak about React hooks and React context. In the last lesson, we finished the add functionality. Let's simulate it again. When we click add new employee button, let's for name, let's use Ricardo Quaresma, email ricardo at email.com address. Let's use this generic one and phone. Let's use this one. After we click add new employee button, as you can see, we are adding successfully our employee but we had a problem because our add employee model is not closing we have to close the model explicitly with close button or with this cross sign let's click this close button and in this lesson we will handle how we can close this model automatically and one more thing did you get your attention that when we refresh our page we are losing our new employees data. Later, we will handle this issue with local storage. Here, in briefly, what we need, we need a side effect when we when we are adding a new employee. We need a side effect, and this effect has to close our model. First, let's go our React tools from let's inspect and from inspect we can go to the components. And here, when you click a employee context provider you can see that our state inside of our hooks and when we add new employee we are also updating this state let's see it again let's use ricardo Quaresma, ricardo email address phone and after i click the add new employee we are adding the new employee here and also as you can see we are adding employee also here after we add new employee the state is also updating at the same time we need a side effect to close our model automatically and for this side effect we will use use effect hook let's close this one but we have an error here let's go to console find dom node is deprecated in strict mode let's solve this issue first for this we have to go public no public sorry in src index.js here we have to remove this strict mode save the file and when we refresh our page as you can see we clean this issue now let's go back our code and and let's go employee list.js and here we are opening and closing our model Below the handle close, I will create a use effect hook here. Use effect. I want to fire that use effect hook automatically. So I am writing here a direct arrow function. And this effect will close our model. So this effect has to fire handle close function. I will add a condition here because I want that this hook will fire when our employees change. So for this reason, I am adding here employees array. Save the file and let's go our app again. Click add new button again. Ricardo Quaresma, email, generic address and generic phone. Add new employee button and this time, as you can see, we close successfully our model. Now let's talk about a little more about use effect hook. In general, we use use effect hook to react any change in our application. This change could be a data fetching, setting up a subscription, or changing DOM, or making any functionality in our application. Use effect hooks runs after the first render and after every update. Let's make some practice and go back our code. Here, let's comment out this use effect with Alt Shift A. I will start with most basic use effect hook, use effect, and I will fire again this use effect hook automatically with an arrow function. Here, I want to lock just the text component rendered console.log component rendered what we said use effect hook will run at the beginning and after the change let's go back our application i am refreshing our app and now you can see component rendered because this hook will work first at the beginning and then in every change for example let's click this add new employee click close button 
click add new employee again as you can see our use effect firing our writing component rendered continuously let's close this model always our hook is rendering because there is no condition in our effect and this effect will fire continuously in our hook there is no condition what i mean this hook will fire for every chains but mostly when we use this use effect hook we want some conditions let's add here a condition as a second parameter so let's add here an array employees now this time use effect hook work at the beginning again and doesn't work for every updates will work only update of employees let's see in action let's go back our application and clean here refresh our application first as i said it will work again at the beginning and let's click this button after click this button be careful this time our use effect hook didn't fire because now it has a condition employees array has to be changed to fire this use effect hook again let's go back our code and for example click close button didn't fire now add new employee ricardo coverage ricardo at email.com address telephone add new employee now we could add any new employee and we fired our use effect hook again because what we said this time we have this condition and this condition employees array is changed and this use effect hook fired let's close button here for another use case we can also use an empty array in our use effect hook this time we want this hook will works only at the beginning let's check it let's go back our code and this time i will use an empty array save the file go back our application refresh our application as you can see it worked at the beginning again use effect hook always work at the beginning and i am clicking this add new employee doesn't fire close button doesn't fire add new employee again click add new employee button we added new employee but our use effect hook didn't fire again because this time we have this empty condition this empty condition means this use effect hook will work at the beginning let's erase this one save the file we can also use use effect hook as a simulation of life cycle methods our scenario is when i click this add new employee button i want to see component mounted block when i click the close button i want to see component unmounted block let's go back our code and this time let's go at form.js and here at the beginning i will write use effect hook use effect first i want to see component mounted block component mounted for unmounting simulation i need return statement inside of this hook return and this time i want to lock component unmounted console.log component unmounted save the file also here i want that this use effect hook works only at the beginning for this reason i am adding here an empty array or oh, this has to be an error not equal save the file okay let's go back our application refresh our page click add new button as you can see we are seeing component mountain block after we close button now we see component unmounted block this is the summary of use state hook and in our application we will use it again and we will talk about it again now let's clean our samples let's go back our add form we have to clean this one save the file let's go to employee list.js and we have to uncomment this save the file and we have a warning of oh, in add form.js we will we have to erase this use effect save the file and everything is working correctly this is the end of today's lesson in the next lesson we will continue to speak react hooks and react context